ones are delicious. They are. I should buy some. I'm gonna make a note. <laughs> wants to kill some goblins. Yo, uh, oh. Wait, no, that'd be great. Like... <laughs> Did we, we, didn't we leave off like in the middle of some action like weren't we like sneaking through the swamp or Let like me or someone or something or like holding yeah. our breath underwater something like that <laughs> yeah well you just <laughs> killed a, a goblin and his buddy his buddy Wog and um yeah and you decided that you want to take a short rest before we continued on I need to know who is is anyone not taking a short rest at this time No, I, think I am we're definitely all taking, taking one. Okay, fun. Okie dokie. Would there be a reason to, like, not take a short rest? Like, I guess to, like, take one later or something instead? Is that, like, a thing? I think that's something for a bit rough on health and things like spell slots and that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, I have a cat in my face. Birdo, this is going to be a problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> PewDiePie, though. <laughs> right. Okie dokie. Now, is anybody keeping watch or anything? Like, you're going to take, like, like a half-hour short rest where everybody just rests up quick and, quick and easy, or would you, like, sort of stagger it over an hour and someone keeping watch at all times? We we definitely should keep watch, um, but I, I mean, a short rest doesn't necessarily mean sleep. It's just like sitting down, so we can keep watch oh, yeah, while we're sitting rest. down, and you're like also healing yourself up and like preparing your spells and that sort of thing. So you're not focusing around you so much. Okay. Yeah, we, it's we kind of just going to depend if you're sort of using perception versus passive perception. Yeah, I think we should um, keep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll say yeah, that it's like a like rolling been. roster. So I'll see when this event happens based on a little, little dice roll. Okay. Now then, um, Mara, can you please give me a perception check as you're sort of watching? Uh, perception. Hold on. Forgot how to roll in D and D Beyond. Uh, you can just click uh, the perception modifier on the right. Good. Hold on. Doesn't give me any boxes to roll. Okay. It's not. Did you change your browser and not have you know, Beyond Twin installed? Nice. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, let me make sure I have it installed. Let me check my Beyond 20. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. It got unpinned. Oh, I don't <laughs> Not a D and D Beyond page. I'm on D and D Beyond. Refresh the D and D Beyond page. I did. I'll just I'll just use the. Where's the dash? I'm so lost. I'm so sorry. Look. <clears throat> Not letting me roll. That's weird. Did I lose my mind? Did I forget how to do this game? I first can't roll anything. I mean, I hear some sort of like boop, 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 like air sounding noise. Is that from your end? I mean, there's an air going. Or like air, like a... sorry, like it's going, just, it makes, it's, I don't, I'm just wondering if that's on. like D&D &D Beyond. Just click on, no. click on the number, right? In D&D yeah. &D Beyond? 
really am. Yeah, I'm also in Europe. And nothing... Are you on mobile or it's... on your desktop? I'm on my or desktop. It's not letting me click on anything. Are you... It's not even like letting me look at like my. Let me. Are you logged go in? All the way back around. Yeah. Okay, let me go all the way back around. Let's try this. Okay, there we go. I got it. I'm sorry, perception? Excellent. Yay. Yes, that's the one. Like reload or something. Yeah, I, I just reopened my um, bit. Uh, 14. Okay, great. So, um, you hear something sort of approaching from behind the fog. Sort of to the east of where you currently are. Something big and quadrupedal. Flushing through the swamp. East of where we are? Yes. And I can't see it? You can't see it yet because it's I behind the fog, it. but it's, a, it's, a, it's approaching. And the, that's, that sound of it wading through the, the swamp is getting louder. And that's my guys. Say, we need to get going. There's something coming. What's coming? Um, okay, well, um, we do you know what the thing is? No, there's just something big coming. Okay. Hmm. It's coming from the east. Where we need to be going, anyways. Should we start moving south? Let's move, yeah, let's move south to that island. Okay. All right, I will follow you. Heck up and move down this way. Elena, so you're going on to that island? I would like to be on land, please. Oh, but that's... there's a there's I can see there. we can see a little bit of we can see a guy. Uh there's definitely peeps there. So we... I was hoping we could go down and around under the bridge. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I would prefer. Alright, let's do that then. And we're stealthing too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll I'll cast past without a trace because that's idea. probably gone. So I'll cast that again. Good idea. Otherwise, we are not going to be sneaky. <laughs> okay, so Stargo and Bert are moving as well. Uh. Hmm? Oh, they haven't moved your tokens. That's all. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Kind of, uh, um, yeah. And yeah, I'll need to get some um, stealth checks from everybody too with that Pass Without Trace as well too, of course. Well, of course. Remind me, Pass Without Trace is plus mm -hmm. 10. Stealth. Plus 10. Uh, plus 10, yeah. 28, son. I'm so stealth. Oh, oh that's good. Oh. Ooh, good thing we have that. <laughs> Uh, hey, not bad. bad. Okay. I'm at 18. For once, I am not the problem in this group. Yay. Uh, oh, we lost Lynette. Lynette. Frozen. We lost Lynette. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dun, dun, dun. I guess we'll give her a couple of minutes and yeah, yeah. And she's and still Alan in the. Just... Uh... Having Discord problems. Okay. We just want to 
Keep right. going or wait? Keep going. I'll let's see. Yeah. Okay. So, hmm. uh, should we instead kind of try to go for the the tree? So we can at least have a little bit of cover. The tree that's like the southwest of, of us. Oh. I don't know if we could really see to like that there. island to kind of get a sense of what's over on that island from that far away. Uh, right. Yeah, we just came from there. Oh, did we? Yeah. I think so. We came, we came, we came, we came from the north. Like this one. Yeah, we went to that yeah. tree. That was... Uh... We passively perceived it, or we actively perceived tree. Oh, okay. Right. All right. Yeah, so let's I'm just keep not... going down and try. Oh, we didn't go around because it's really deep over here. Oh. This okay. area is really deep. That's why we did Yeah. So we'd have to swim. So either we go towards mm. the big thing or we swim. Hmm. I don't know what swimming would do. Uh... Hmm. I don't like swimming. If we if we go, I'm or I don't like the option of swimming. Um, yeah. What what would be like? What would you roll for swimming? Swimming, I think it's rolling. I think it's mostly a movement thing. It's oh, like okay. half your movement or something. Oh, how so can yeah. I tell how far away that big thing was? Big thing? Damn. Could I tell how far away that big thing was? Let's see. Well, give me another perception check. Uh, Lynette also says that they had gotten 11 on the stealth. Yeah, I saw uh, that. Five. Five. So we're fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, plus ten. It's... All right. No. Okay. Um, of... Yeah, you're not sure where it is. I know that's to the east, and it was getting loud. Okay. I'll be right back. Oh no. Our quarry. Uh, let's. Should we just? Should we just take our chances with the big I, thing? I. Uh... It's either that or swimming. I'd rather swim, personally. Yeah. Kayla, I think get, we'd rather swim. Yeah, I'm just super worried. If we get caught up by that thing while we're swimming, that's going to be a, a serious detriment to our fighting ability. That's true. Um, I feel like if it's a four-legged thing, it's probably, like, another, like, goblin on a steed you know, like, around, like, so if we, I feel like we're definitely, oh. We could take them, but, yeah, looks like we got Lynette I feel like back. we're definitely, we would have to fight it, but, like, I feel like that would be a definite fight, whereas a swim, we might be able to avoid it. Perhaps. Right. Okay. All right, I'll and go like, with. And It would be better okay. to have more we're intel swimming. before we start fighting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's. We probably also are more covered by swimming. Should we try that? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. We're gonna attempt to swim. Okay. So we're gonna so, we're fight we that. Going, like, we're uh, we haven't really been to the west either yet, too. Right. Yeah, but I don't oh, think we haven't. Oh, I guess. going that direction. So we haven't really. At least that was my question. We but can that's, explore that's, the west, I guess. That's why I was saying the tree to the southwest of us. I guess I assumed that there was nothing over there because I was just following the bridges. Yeah, I was following the bridges too, but it could be interesting to look that way at least. I yeah. yeah I, 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 right. vote, I vote let's look to see what's to the west, sneak behind the tree, take a look. Okay. Let's do that then. Okay. I assume just there's nothing over there. A goal? That's our final answer. <laughs> okay, so give me some perception checks to see what you can see through this fog. See how far you can see. I am uh, I'm on my phone until I can figure out what's going on with the computer. 
Also, uh, the baby calls. So, oh, I will be fine. listening. That's fine. But there was a big hey. thing. I there was a, a big thing coming, and we decided to go to avoid the big thing. Uh, 15 okay. and 15 for both okay. Mira and Tala. And uh, 17 for Bertha. Nine, a nine for me, so the, that's not bad. So a nineteen. So I'm gonna say that you can sort of see what we're doing. That's not very much. There we go. <laughs> and maybe just a little bit more. I gotta do this. Area. What if we steal one of those boats? I feel like. But as you're sort of peering through that, um, okay. Mera hears the the sort of back where you were resting before, where those two dead bodies were. Uh, that same quadrupedal those footsteps stop. And even through the, because the swamp, swamps are quite noisy places. There's loads of bugs making loads of noise and everything, water around everywhere. But you do sort of hear this very loud sniffing. And then you hear a really noisy howl. Yeah. That sort of rings throughout the whole swamp. Oops. Oh, shit, we should have hit the bodies. Oopsie daisies. That is not good. Got, got. So, yes, um, what's happens. our move? Uh, we need to stay hidden. Okay. Well, Tom, I don't you're muted. Think... Sorry, we need to stay hidden. I, I think we I... need to, to allow them to come to their own conclusions about how those guys met their end. And if we are not I am around... not sure. I'm not sure hiding is good, but I do not think there is a lot more out west. So... Maybe we could um, try to circle back to the path and. The DM try told to... us to check west. I don't know. I, I didn't tell you. I just said that, by the way, west is a direction. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I see two options. Either we circle back to the west and then to the south, go back to the path, and try to regroup think about our plan, or mm -hmm. we head east and we try to, you know, take the problem head on. We just don't want to... This isn't a... We don't want to kill anybody unnecessarily. I don't want to fight anybody that's not the big three. Yes. Is my I, I agree. But we are quickly running out of options here. What if... This is a very stupid idea, but let me just say it. If we let ourselves get captured, they take us to the big three, we assassinate the big three, set up the flares, and get the fuck out of dodge. I like the first part. I don't think the second part happens the way you think it happens. I think it's not assassinated <laughs> at that point. I think it's we have a big battle with like 20 guys instead of three. Three. Mm -hmm. I do agree. I just don't think we're gonna But I do not think it would be such a bad idea. What if we ambush this warg? Because right now, I think he's he's preparing to sound the call and say something is up, and we need to either keep moving and just make sure that they can't find us, or we need to silence him. Um, I mean, he's already sounded the call. Yeah, that was a really loud howl. It's true. Well then, maybe this is our distraction. Well, China, no, no, no. 
we could see to, you know, ob observe where the people are coming from, who is going, and take advantage of maybe some of the guards being distracted and going to see this is what true. is happening. Yeah. I... Hmm. Because we've got two goblins that just came across that island we were kind of passing by. Two go the two goblins who were there just came to the west side of that island, and the warg is up there. So maybe that's put a lot of people out of position, and we can take advantage of that to move quickly through their lines. Uh, can we? Could we watch? Yeah, and see what that goblin does. Hmm. For a minute, Reese. Absolutely, of course you can. I'd like to see what um, he does. But in the meantime, before all hidden behind this tree, let's all hide behind the tree. Yes, I like hiding. Good idea. I hide <laughs> behind tree. Hide behind tree. Hello, tree, my Step old one. friend. Just. Like, and with the heads popping out. Yeah. Oh, uh, Scooby Doo. Where are our Just swamp yeah. straws? <laughs> yeah, so there are swamp straws. Yeah. That's true. I forgot really about swamp straws. But then we can't see if our heads are underwater. Yeah. Okay, Seeing so is kind of the point. Now, that wog. He's, he's having a big old sniff. And uh -huh. he's going to... Oh, dang. Okay. Okay. He's, yeah, he sniffs around for a bit. And he's going to hear him... Really? Yeah? I have a question. So... As a druid, Taylor has beast speech. So was that howl that he made, was that language, or was that just a howl? Um, I think, first I think you might need to cast that to understand it before it happens, uh, but even then... I don't think I, I don't um, think it's a thing that I cast, I thought it was a thing that oh, I okay. have. You just have it, okay. I mean, I can double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's just a thing that I have. Ooh. Um... But, um yeah, you... Yeah, beasts can understand your speech and you gain the ability to decipher noises and motions because I have speech of the woods. That is a no-action thing. That's just a thing that I can do. Nice. Well, well you don't recognize it as a language, though. Kind of just, it's just a sound that he made. Okay. And instead of... So this warg has a, has a sniff around for a bit, and instead of going towards you, he kind of just trots over to these goblins over here. And they little, they're having a bit of a chat. Are we too far away to hear them? Um, oh, give me a perception check, but with disadvantage, because it's a noisy swap and they're pretty far away. Uh, I'm going to say mainly because you speak Goblin. What is it, like control click for... Uh, yeah. I think it's control click, yeah. Yeah, nah. Two. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't hear what they're saying. I'm afraid. Just too far away. It's too noisy in the swamp. Mm -hmm. Darn. Okay. Well. The, does there seem to be any movement? Like, are they? Do they seem to just be talking? Uh, or are people starting to move, trying to go investigate? Or I'm just sort of watching them. Um, the goblin on land that he's talking to stays there, but the warg, he sort of trots all over this direction. And that's what okay. we see happen. All right. Okay. Well, if that's where, like, the cavalry is, I mean, maybe that's where the leadership is. Maybe that's the direction that we should go. I agree. Yep. Agreed. Okay. I think we should sneakily follow where that warg is going. Okay. I think it's a good idea. 
Excellent. Okay. So show me where you're going to be going. Like which in sort of as a crow flies direction. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess we we still have the option of going kind of like east. I'm just going to, I'm using my character marker to just kind of gesture where, um, but like we still have like, we, we talked about potentially going over here to the east, but I mean, do we, do we want to do that or do we want to follow? I think we want to follow the warg. I think we okay. do, yeah. Also, okay. passing between these two islands feels like, yeah, it feels risky. Mm-hmm. So I'll need more stealth check again. Of course. I'll move all full bargo. What else would we do? And because they're actively looking around, those goblins are going to be doing their own perception checks. Uh, you, nice. If you guys nice. Using your... yeah. Well done. I was also going to say with advantage too, because you're using your um, little stealth straws. Oh, uh, right. So if you want to use a manage, feel free, but of course it doesn't need to. Because it's yeah. <laughs> wow. And you still got parts of that trace as well, too, so I'll take that into account. And I'll need to do some gerblin. I rolled white. Uh, never mind. So stealthy. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, so you you are you um. And I will have to roll for Lynette as well. Let's open up the sheet real quick. Come on, do it. Sorry, my my right thumb has been particularly annoying about getting stuck kind of out of place these yeah, days. Yeah, the other day. Yep, but I no. just I just got it back in, but it mm, was not a pleasant enough. experience. Ooh, it's fine. I'm start, right? getting used to it. It's just... Ugh. But the, the longer it gets I... stuck, not quite right, the, the more the muscles around it tense up and then it becomes really tender. Annoying. Yeah. FYI, you just... Oh, that you all rolled up, so you just... You rolled a... With your... What's it called? Um, advantage and disadvantage, brought that to be a 15 all up with the um, pass of that tray, so you still stealth, which is nice. And you're all stealth drawing through there, and those goblins don't seem to notice you. Fuck yeah. Yay. So while we're over here, um, I want to look over kind of to the west to kind of see what we can see over in that direction from this vantage point. Give me a good old perception. Perception. It's not bad. 18. That's that's reasonable, absolutely. Okay, so I'm just gonna... So, through the fog, you sort of peer what looks like some sort of mangrove forest. But it's, um, it's, it's, yeah, in some fairly deep water, as far as you can tell. All right, keep moving north. Do we want to put ourselves kind of close to that deep water, though? You want to go northeast? I think yeah. northeast is the direction that that warg went, but there's this tree kind of up here 
um mm -hmm. pretty much like north northwest that might be kind of helpful to use that yeah. as jumping off point mm -hmm. if that might be like the edge of the area yeah we can use that to scooch around with i think that's a yep. good idea yep agreed I love how we're just like going around the entire swamp, being tourists, exploring. <laughs> oh, what a lovely patch of mud! I went to the swamp foot so swamp. So I was as I'll need those stealth checks again too, with advantage. Uh, how do you roll with advantage again? Shift. Hold down shift. Shift. Okay. Oh, I rolled the wrong thing. Whoops. No, I won't. No! It uh, works. Oh. Okay. It didn't work for Wait. me, but I'm just going to roll again. Okay. I got 20. 20. Yeah, two oh. not 20s. Oh, yeah. We are sneaky boys. Give me just a second. Which <laughs> helps because I didn't do super great. All right. Stealth with advantage. I have mastered Which the part of stealth. Disadvantage. <laughs> Harry's very stealth right now. <laughs> Sorry. I have a sweater that I'm trying to find holes in, so I'm late. Like... Hmm. <laughs> okay. Does not seem to be connected to roll 20 at the moment. I got a 16. Okay. That's, That's 16. perfectly fine then. All good. Okay, and um, whoever wants to perceive the road ahead, feel free. I'll nice. look. Me too. <laughs> Maybe someone else should look with me. Oh okay. boy. <laughs> okay. The three of us are going like, huh? I, don't I can't see shit. shit. I'm moderating the like one that's tonight. There you go. Oh, good, it's tree. Uh. <laughs> Like, there's too much humidity in the air. I can't see. <laughs> there's shit all over my legs. I'm wet and I'm not happy. <laughs> Mood. Sucks. Oh, boy. Uh, what can we see with that? <laughs> Who's the anything? Well, there's some land off to the right, so I guess we, off to the east, so I guess we kind of go northeast. Let's move kinda... to the other side of the tree and try and re-perceive. I think that's a good idea. Like, yeah, kind of up that's... here. Yeah, not too Like, much. here? Yeah. How do you ping again? I'll hold down click on, um, on select move. Ah, thank you. All right. I perceived it's oh, only got an 11. Hey. Did that do a thing? That did not do a thing. Ah. Oh, yay. I see much better now. Oh, yeah. So yeah, with Taylor's look, get a bit more of that action going on. Uh, okay. Okay, well that's pretty so much of what's on this island, but we can see the extent of it better. Mm-hmm. Should we just keep going up? Can we look to the I'd like to look to the west too to kind of see if I can see over that direction, like the northern end of the like mangrove. Try go over that 16 perception mm -hmm. too for just to expedite things a bit more. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Thank you. Man, roll 20 is super slow for me. Yeah, it's kind of slow for me, too. Do we want to circle the island and just kind of yeah. stay stealth mode? Yeah, I think just yeah. keep going north. Yeah, 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 I agree up that way. And assuming we have to roll roll stealth again with advantage. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, do that for us too, thanks. 
always. Oh, I didn't do that, Ben. Oh, I am okay. grateful for that. Also, that choice. Yep. Yep. I got plenty more that comes from. I also have one that I can okay. use, so. Uh, good thing I just keep getting solid rolls because, like, rolling with advantage really is not working for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, perceive. Thanks. I perceive nothing. I I get really there's a bug on my arm, and I'm just like fucking. There's a bug. Wow. On tail, you can do better than this. Wow, my perception is We're almost just... on the edge of this map. <laughs> it's oh, just you can't perceive worth shit. Yep. Yeah. That's some, those aren't some great perception rolls there, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Right, we cause... just, we, I think there's just there's flies in the way. We're all very distracted. I'm convinced Same. that Helenus is half blind at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Helenus needs reading glasses. Helenus is better than I did. Uh, maybe I got a nat one. I'm still All not right. linked That's to right. roll 20 yet, but I got a 10 as well. Okay. Our next Thank quest you. is to when we get back. <laughs> when we get back, we all go to the optometrist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. The adventuring party needs glasses. That's yeah. Does, that's like a children's book. wearing glasses. Does he get advantage on perception? I am wearing a monocle. Thank you. Ooh, that's you a think plus you still five get advantage to sophistication. <laughs> yeah, definitely a charisma. It bonus. is not prescription. It's plain glass. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, plus six to a charisma. Bit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be moving north a little bit more. Mm. Yep. Got us around this island. Or move around this yeah. island. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. We're gonna hit the edge of this map. Over here, yeah. And again, stealth. Save this to be so chuggy when it comes to stealth and perception rolls <laughs> when I first started doing this. Okay. Well, that's a good thing we have Pass Without Trace again. Yeah, at least we're stealthy. We might not be able to see shit, but they can't see us either, so. And then perception. Come on, baby. All money, no Emmys. Two. Uh. Yeah. Come on. There's a time. Okay. That's okay. Bad. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Oh, I'm not doing very good. I have a plus two. Come on. Like seriously, I'm not I supposed to be that bad. <laughs> Oh, oh uh, this you have talent. You 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 rolled a performance, Smack. No. It's Oh, my perception's plus one, so I actually got a four. 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 That doesn't help. Just... I mean no. four is better than two. Four, four is better than two. Uh blindness FTW. Hey, at least we Ironic can find because something. you don't even wear glasses in real life, and yet Helena's is blind. Oh no, that's a seven, not a one. Okay, so I got a six. Okay, okay. We there's like okay, we see something now. Okay. <laughs> so there's you start to, to, can you start to hear that. a fairly loud humming noise. 
this kind of noise. Can I do like a nature check to see if like I recognize that as like an animal or anything? Would love it if you did. Do, 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 do. Nature. Fuck. <laughs> Taylor is not familiar with swamps, I guess. Yeah, it's a bit hard with all this noise around. You can't really pick what the sound could possibly be. What are those little things? Are those bones? Are those, it looks like it's a, a, some kind of plant. Some kind of plant? Yeah, some kind of plant. Some plant? Wait. A swamp full of plants. <laughs> Uh, should we keep going? Kind of like maybe let's hug the shore a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Good idea. Also, yep, I realized that my computer is way too far away for me to see things well. And I do have glasses. Keep forgetting that. <laughs> I'm like just nearsighted enough for it to be annoying, not enough for me to wear them all the time, so I forget. Oh, that's funny. And then I'm like, oh wow, right, I have the superpower of putting things on my face and then having HD vision. <laughs> that's so odd to me because I have terrible vision and I've worn glasses since the age of like six, so they're just part of my face. So it's inconceivable yeah. to like not need them. <laughs> yeah, no, I I started wearing glasses when I started uh, like driving lessons when I was like sixteen, because it was hey, me too. just bad enough to be annoying when I was sitting in the back of a class. But you know, as long as I didn't sit in the back of the class, I was fine. But then driving uh, is a whole other. Th Whole whole other ball game. I could not read like street names. And driving at night, I have a little bit of astigmatism, so just lights were so big. It's horrible. I already dislike oh, driving, whatever. so Yes, I got 19 perceptions. Yeah. Show me the map. <laughs> Marimor, okay. what's your Show health me I the see? <laughs> Did I? Oh, I Sorry, to your stone break. ganassi eyes see. Ooh, more of those. Like a vineyard? Uh, oh. can I do... Yeah, they look like they're sort of... Mm -hmm. an, can I do an investigation check to see if those are burial mounds? Um, yeah, feel free. They're uh, if I wanted to try to see what they, like, if I wanted to try to see what, what the plants were, uh, would I roll a nature or would I roll a survival? Um, I would say nature. Okay. Actually, what's high I mean, for you? It's, hmm? What's a high for you, nature or survival? Uh, survival is a plus two and nature is a minus one, so I have better wisdom than okay. intelligence. All right, I got a nat 20. Tell Thanks. me what those are. But, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're pretty far away. Um, so you don't really know exactly what they are. But what you do see is... Um, one second, please. It looks to be, like you said, kind of like a vineyard where these, these plants are sort of on stakes and in these nicely arranged rows. And oops. goblin agriculture, kind of yes. Oh. I just need oh, to. Oh, sorry, where's that? I, there it is. Took advantage okay. by reflex, uh. but all right. I tried to figure out what they are, and I know nothing. I think I'd also and like on roll. these plants. You see a whole bunch of these purple and white flowers. They look exactly like that in the in the Discord chat. The Discord. Ooh, pretty. Oh. Mm. And yes, you see these green leaves, and amongst the leaves are these really pretty flowers. 
like pansies. I don't know what they are. I found a picture on it. Like, um, can I also no, roll like, like nature or something to see if I know what plants they are? You're a little bit too far away to get a good idea of it at the stage. Okay. Well, we don't. Hmm. Did we try going up on land? I feel like I. I feel like they're not important, like knowing what plants they are isn't important enough to like risk leaving the water where we have our stealth advantage. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like know. we should plants like keep. Plants are pretty cool. I mean, plants are pretty cool. That is extremely true. But yeah, I'm going to follow Mara, I think, over that direction and keep kind of trying to get a sense of what's, what's around here. Okay. Still. Thank you, but hi, God, for passes out of trace. Done you a good service right now, yeah? yeah. All right, and then reception. Reception. <gasps> Not oh, any perception. Oh, Heck yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I like, oh, if so, my eyes are open, it works better. <laughs> <laughs> I will be generous and do a bit of this. Have mercy on us, please. Oh, good thing we didn't go up there. Yeah, hey, yep. There is what a you lot see? of people in there. Um, now, down, as you sort of peer through these little orchids, kind of, um, you see three goblin-sized creatures. And have you ever seen what medieval beekeeping outfits look like? Uh, no. Yes, yeah. they're like the big, the big baskets. Yeah, that's right. So they kind of have like white canvas over their bodies that's pretty much covered them entirely. And they've got like a wicker like panel on the front where they sort of kind of see through. And these ones in particular are little oh. tiny extra bits of fabric to sort of accommodate the golden's big ears. Uh, except for this chap down here. That guy. That is so oh. weird. I did not know that existed. What? Oh, they're so cool. They're so, they're so strange. So yeah, that guy there, uh, he's a bugbear. And he's not wearing oh. one of these beekeeping outfits. He is um, uh, shirtless, and he's big, strong, healthy-looking bugbear, except the fact that all the sort of the fur on his oh. over his body has kind of been pushed aside by these gigantic um, bee sting growths that he's got all over his body. Ooh. And he looks pretty gross. And you also notice at this stage, too, um, that that humming noise that you would have heard before, uh, a huge amount of bees that are just swarming over these plants, like a ridiculous amount of the bees. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scooch away from the shore. <laughs> it's gonna slowly back up. No, thank you. I'm not gonna do with that bugbear. Yeah, I think we just should uh, keep looking over. Just keep looking. I don't really want to engage with bees. Or the bugbear. Um, I do think the bugbear the bug might be important later, but um, yeah, I'm down to... We'll keep a note of him. Yeah. We know where he's it's... at. He's not going anywhere. Does he have any sort of, like, I don't know, like, insignia or, like, crown or any sort of like, thing denoting, like, rank? So, uh, give me a perception check. Um, the DC is going to be pretty high because he's quite far away. Okay. Well, let's see. Now. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't really see from this distance. He just, you just see this big, strong looking bugbear frame covered in all those gross bee stings. And adding to the bees too, they don't seem to be flying around. They seem to be really be hugging these plants. These guys really have like an industry. They have 
whatever's going on with the pea. They got the plants. They really got a whole industry going on here. Since they're, uh, I I really want to because there's it doesn't seem to be anybody in that last at that last hedgerow or vine row. I really really want to sneak over there and snag at least one of the flowers. So, and no. Just, but no. <laughs> I, but it could be useful. What? It's a flower that goblins are growing. It's a flower that has a shitload of bees attracted to it. That might be. So do, you, do you want bees? Do you want bees? I say be find you bees. I mean, we found bees. <laughs> okay. I'm just. Hollis. Hollis. Hall. Hallie. Hallie Berry. The. Our goal, <laughs> our goal is to take over this whole deal. So once we get um, the Nash Fangs instilled in power, we can come back and get the flower. But, but flower. We'll come back. Oh. I'll write, I'm writing it on my hand. I'm, I'll write it down. Right. Okay, I'll make a note. Wait, can How's Stone Ganassi write things on their hand? How, how does that work? Yeah. Okay. I've written things on rocks with pencils before. It's possible. Don't worry. Yes. Okay. You need a very I have tiny a chalk. chisel. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I sort of chisel something out. Give Hal a flower. Thank you. We will come back. All right, I'm satisfied. I promise. Okay. Do Let's we need keep going. Stealth for this latest move. I'm sure you do. All right, I'm just gonna roll stealth. Good chunk. I'm just saying that that 23, that that nat 20, that could have been to get a flower. <laughs> what? You would have been off out of order, so it wouldn't be just yeah. You would have been nine, and also you probably would have been out of her uh, range of um the other thing too. Pass that rice. Well, come back. Come back, I promise. All right, who's rolling perception? You need me to uh, stealth? Uh, yes, yes, please, that'd be great, thanks. Yes. Uh, oh, sh oh, that's perception. Cute. <laughs> is this advantage stealth? Uh, yes. Uh, at this stage, yes, it is, but for you, it should just balance out because you've got the disadvantage for your armor. Right. Hey, I got a second no natural one. I got. There we go. Perception. Hey, did it roll? So yeah, it's the forty. Yeah, that's that's great. You're all looking good, and perception. That's also really good too. Perfect. So let's let's perceive a little bit further, shall we? I'm like I'm like so totally focused on Hallis. I'm like holding him by his collar, so I'm not even paying a fucking attention. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> no. I can't perceive right. shit because right. I'm being held against my will. <laughs> I like I like some of my hemp rope around to make like a little leash. Don't do, oh, don't do that, know. please. Even... <laughs> is, yeah, the fogs around the island, like on the island itself, isn't as much as on, over the water, so seeing onto the island's a bit easier. Okay. Okay. Ooh, there's something there. Yep. Yeah, let's go. I feel, like, I feel like gone. All right, let's stay over here a little bit. I don't want to get too close yeah. to whatever that is. Agreed. Yeah. My perception's not that bad. Eleven. And. Again, uh, this is what it was like yeah. last night during community night. She just kept trying to get in on my shit. Oh, what? Baby. You, baby. You, baby. Ooh, that's a good perception. I know, right? 
Bertha just kind of, yeah, decided that she was going to pay attention. <laughs> Ooh, big okay. yawn! Yeah, we'll do a bit of this action, too. After this adventure, we're going to be so sick of just the wet. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're getting out of shape. We are getting out of the swamp. Yep. We are going to go, go to a desert. <laughs> we're going to go back to town. They're going to be like, okay, your next mission is, you know, on a boat. No. We're going to be like, no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Arid, please. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh, there's some sort of construction over there. Yeah. So can we see, oh. like, what those buildings are? They look like... The ones over here. That oh, wrong button. Over here, they there. Like uh, they look like um, little goblin tiny houses. You saw them on the uh, island at the start of the um, map, too. Okay. Sort of like little, like little tiny huts. holes. Yeah. This Are is they, the like, biggest island. For a that... TLC documentary on here, like it's like <laughs> tiny houses, little tiny goblin house vine goblins. little vineyards. Like, is this like tiny house off grid? Like goblin off grid? Goblin oh. off grid. Goblins off grid. Okay, that's no, it's on a grid. We're on a grid. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Um, it looks like a bird. Is it just a oh, bird? Uh, that's or just there... a little tiny little like. Decoration plant, don't worry about it. Okay. okay. And then, like, no, it is a little plant there. Yeah. I wasn't sure if there was significance to it. It's not, sorry, no. I just like that's boring. I need a little plant there. Plop. Oh. I need to know what this is. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm curious. You too. can see that it looks like it's part of a, a larger building of some kind. A, a shack. It's so only like one story, it's not huge. Uh, but yeah, there's a little building there of some kind. I think that's gotta be where they are. Probably. Um, da, 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 da. yeah, let's let's go down here and see if we can get a closer look. If I need to, um, if Taylor can like turn into a mouse or something and go like invest, Ooh. we'll have to, to throw you onto the land first. Yeah, yeah, because I can't turn it into anything that can swim at this level, so. Okay, fuckers. Have you chosen a circle yet or is that coming? I think that's I think I have. I don't remember. Well, you should have, yeah. Shepherd is what I was thinking, but I don't remember if, if that's like official or if that's just what I was thinking. But um I think it's like level five where I can turn into an animal that has a swimming speed. Um, anyway, I should probably roll stealth, shouldn't I? I haven't done that. Whoops. I'm going to roll stealth again because I forgot to roll with advantage. Well, that's better. Yes. Good, good, and good. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, perception. I can't see things. Okay. If you want to um, turn into like a map, how many? It can like very carefully get you on to whoever's the best elf can like very carefully get you on a land. I think I think Hal has the best stealth, or do I? Uh, I'm Hal plus, has the best stealth. Yeah, I'm plus three stealth. So much stealth. All right, so who am I taking on to land with me? Uh, once once we see the new the new bit, okay. I think you should take mouse mouse tally, and she can go. Yeah, I think we got to go in that building. 
So can we oh, see the back door? Can we take one more, uh, Mara? Can we move closer to land so that we can get a little bit of pass without trace uh, on while we're on oh, yeah. land? Um, I know mm -hmm. that'll take one more stealth check from everyone, but we should be okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sure. Um, let me see how far past the trace goes. Hold on. Yeah. Um, past the trace. If we can get to that back door. It's 30 feet. If we can get, uh, to, if we can get close enough that I can get to this back door, that would be the ideal way to get Tala in. Yeah. How do I do the... Uh, Q. How do I do the Q? Yeah. You hold Q while you're moving. Oh, the... Or you tap Q. Difficult. So it is 25 nope. feet from the water's edge to that back door. Yeah. Oh, I, my pass of the trace is 30 feet. So if we go right where I'm at, or if you take this position, I can, I can, uh, yeah, get exactly where my, yeah, right there. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, that way. That way we can take advantage of that. So I guess, yeah, are we all rolling stealth one more time? Yeah. Of course. All page. Of course. That's what we do. We roll stealth. Yeah, yeah. This mission is just stealth. All right. Stealth perception mission. Yep. All day, every day. Oh, good. I roll perception. Oh, I'm so this. glad I've got advantage okay. on that. I'm going to take a <laughs> perception roll, too, because I'm about to be... Boom, dirty 20. Nice. Yeah. That's good, because you're the one who needs to see shit. Yeah. This is... yeah also, you can somehow see through that shit. building as well, just for fun. So, yeah, that's what's looking a bit more like over this way. Okay, cool. Oh, this okay, is gonna this almost looks circled a lot back down. Yeah, we've almost circled back down to the pee room. <laughs> I like how that's how you have it in your mind. I, although I guess I'm like so we talked about it. it, I'm obsessed with it. I need to know every. I'm like the how with the flowers. I need to know everything <laughs> about that. How uh, gets the flowers? Oh, I get the was, piss because they were like <laughs> <laughs> they were like making wine familiar. out of it. Yeah. Listen, no, they were they were two separate me. they were two separate pits. They were making really? wine in one pit so and they were pissing in a different two. pit. Clarity, they were not they making were... wine. It just looked they like they're making looks, wine. Sort of They were making blood. Those are connected. Whatever. I just want to let everyone know those pits are all connected. Like that's all together stuff. I <laughs> all just I... We're monks. We need to know everything. I have an insatiable curiosity. I need to know. Okay. I love this so much. All right. So, are we doing this, Tala? Let's, let's go. There is nothing so, else. There's, no there's nothing else on this island. Do we all just want to get up on the island while she goes in and then we can be ready to bum rush? I think, I think we... Or should we just let her go in here? Everyone's got more than 30 movement, 30 feet of movement, right? Yeah, um, I got. I got. Good question. Do I? I have forty. Oops. Lynette, Lynette. Thurgood might have thirty. Okay, so you um, you don't. So thirty. I have thirty. So maybe Lynette hides behind the tree, or Thargor hides behind the tree, so that uh, so that you're not going to take the the in water penalty. But otherwise, I don't know. Oh, um. Wait. 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 In, just like, wait the the penalty to what? Uh, because we're in water, it's it's like isn't it like half movement? Oh right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, maybe everyone should hide hide behind the but, tree. But uh, had I think we had ruled that um in um in the like swampy terrain, the the Earth Genasi advantage, uh, well the Earth Genasi trait, Earthwalk worked. Yes. That, That's works right. we have three that works for you guys, but Thargor is still yep. going to be impeded. So, True. Um, so yeah, Thargor should hide behind the tree, and and then everyone else can stay in the swamp and be 
and have cover. Um, and we're yeah. all close enough that we can pretty much react to to anything. All right, Tala, we we Sorry. doing this? Let's get this. Wait, yes. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just like. Uh, okay. I... Okay, okay, so I turned into a rat, so I will let me mark that I'm going to do that on the character sheet. That I'm gonna do that. Okay, so just to give this a little color, I think since I don't think Taylor can swim very well as a rat, what 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 she's gonna do is just kind of like piggyback up onto Halinus and grab on with her fingers, and then just kind of like. <laughs> turn into a rat so that she's like holding onto his shoulder with her claws and be like his hair like Remy uh, let's go oh, we're rat okay. all, right. all right uh do I want to do I need to roll should I roll my stealth check before or should I move my character now wait why is I feel like real quick yeah. yeah. why is I feel like Taylor in rat form is a lot stealthier than even like Halinus with his like high stealth bonus. So I feel like it might make more sense for Taylor to do this alone, just purely well, from a stealth. You just need to get on land. Yeah, That's I true. just need I to, get, to get. I'm just getting land. you to the back door, and then I'm going straight back. I'm not coming in with you. Okay. So yeah, because it would it would take a while for a rat to get over there. All right, so I'm gonna roll That's stealth true. with advantage because we've done the whole thing. So you stealth without advantage, but stealth with plus 10, because you're out of water now. Oh, okay. Um, so let's call it 17, because that was the first roll. So, um, Which is, yeah. Okay. So I drop, I, I flip down the Stun of Shades, and we, we head off towards, uh, towards the hut. And then... So as you approach this hut, uh, you notice that there's it's made of made of wood. Um, looks we'll say goblin in construction. That it's it's sturdy but very much you know haphazard at the same time. Um, no windows. It's all blocked up. And yeah, you have arrived at the back door. Um, what do you want to do now? I'm just gonna. Uh, I want to. Well, I guess Tala, do you want to jump down? And yeah, I'll just like the tail will just like skitter down his back, and I'm and going just, to just like, very carefully, just as as like uh, I guess as deftly as I can. I'm just going to inch the door open just enough that Taylor can squeak through. The door doesn't budge. Yeah, squeak through because she's a rat. The door doesn't. <laughs> the door doesn't budge. No, it's something on the other side blocking it. Can I see, like, underneath it? Like, underneath the bottom of the door? Yeah, sure. Um, give me a perception check as you sort of, with your little mouse eyes, peer into the door. While or she's doing eyes. that, can I do an investigation check to see if there's any other way that I can let her in? Absolutely. Sorry, that was performance. I meant to hit persu er, perception. Persuasion. Perception. Persuade the door to open. Well, I am not seeing anything today. I you can't really see yeah any at this area any sort of way to get in. It looks okay. pretty boarded up. Well, Are there any like windows or anything? Any what? Sorry, they're all Are boarded there any... up on this side at least. Mm. Are there any windows or anything? No windows. This is a windowless building. A windowless building. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to sneak around to the front and see if I can sneak in the front. All right, cool. I'm gonna let you let you go, and I'm gonna head back to the to the swamp to join the to join the squad. Okay, so I guess I'll come up here and see if I can peek in the front. If there's like a, I, I assume there's like a door in this front part. Do I need to like roll like a... anything if I'm a rat? Um, I'm gonna say no, just because like it's the grass is pretty long in this area, and yeah, you're you're very tiny. And plus, I don't think I'd really pay a rat. Actually, no, give me a stealth roll. I've changed my mind. As a DM is want to do. Since I'm tiny, um, I will allow advantage. Yes. What 
Okay, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> that's fine. So as you um, skitter around to the front door, um, yeah, the front door is a, is a lot wider than the, than the back door. It's sort of like a pair of big double doors. Okay. Um, give me a investigation check for a, a point of entry. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, so as you're sort of looking at this door, you do notice that the front of the door has um, like a big bar across it, and the bar is sort of locked in place with three very large locks. And as you sort of... Uh, who can say? And But things you do, as you're sort of looking at that, you do notice that on, on the floor, there is almost like a cartoonishly good little mouse hole, like a little tiny archway that you could probably sneak through. Just right okay. there, at the foot of the door. I'm going to sneak through. I'm going to go, can I look through first to see if there's anything yeah. I can see? Absolutely. Give me an investigation check. Actually, perception check. Perception. 16. 16, okay. So as you sort of peer underneath or through this little hole, um, Okay. Yeah, so as you look inside, you see lots of crates stacked all around this room. It looks to be some kind of storage area. Okay. Um, I guess I want to go inside and, like, poke around. Actually, wait, so I'm, I'm, I assume that means that I don't see any people in Not there? At this stage, no. Okay. Um, I think I'm, I would be, if there's no, if it doesn't look like there are any people in there or anything, I would like to go in and kind of sniff around to see if, um, if I can, like, tell what's in these crates. I think that could potentially be useful knowledge. Do rats have advantage to smell checks? I think so. That's why I said sniff around. Um, let me double check yeah, that. Of course. Quick. Um, extras, rat. Advantage on perception checks that rely on smell. So yes. Fantastic. Okay. So have a have a sniff around with that advantage of perception as a rat. Yeah. Advantage. Okay, that's pretty good. Sorry, I'm about to burp. There we go. Okay, so you um, you see, so you are you entering the room or? Uh yeah yeah. Yep. Right. Okay. So as you sort of sniffing around these. Um, these crates and barrels, you, yeah, you smell definitely something floral in there. Um, you also smell something that really doesn't smell great in, in another area of the, of the, the storage room. And yeah, those are the things that sort of, those are the real high top notes for you. Notes. Um, what's the thing that the thing that doesn't smell great, like like rotten, like dead, like, like... Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wine. Okay. Um, part of me is like, okay, well, maybe it makes sense. I guess I'll go. I'll go investigate that thing that smells bad. See if I can see what it is or smell what it is. If I'm up closer, can I do that? Absolutely. Give me another um, um, perception check with advantage. Winter. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, you, you smell. Well, what have I done? There we are. You smell that, and yeah, it's just this really really acidic, urine kind of gross smell. Um, do you have any um, alchemy training at all? I don't think so. Um, I'm, let me see if I like put anything along those lines on my character sheet. No, I don't, I don't think so. Like, I guess, I mean, can I roll like Arcana or something? <laughs> I'd say probably not, no. Okay. But I mean, like, I guess I have, like, 
I guess I think of like I have like med like Taylor has medical training, so that would involve like potions and things, right? So that's I think that's like medicine. That's not the same thing, but I feel like they're adjacent in this universe. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, just all happened in the D and D RP. That's amazing. <laughs> um, we have yeah. So actually, yeah, I will say with your medical training, give me yeah just a an investigation with that as a um bonus as well. As, when so you proficiency, say proficiency, yeah. Mean... Sorry. Uh, proficiency, yeah. With proficiency. Okay. Um. How do I add proficiency? Uh, you, prob you probably can't, so just do it manually. So just roll okay. now, we'll add. I think it's two okay. at this stage. That's investigation. Oh, Pretty good. That's not bad. Okay, okay. I'll say that um, you haven't encountered it directly, because um, it's not normally used in medicine, but because it's kind of alchemy adjacent, um, it's something that's known as saltpeter. Ooh. You don't really know what it's for. It's just that you sort of come across it, and people talk about how like it's it comes from a wide variety of sources. Um, but you do sort of know that it can be made from urine, and you're like, "That's interesting." What is it with? Okay, so Carrie knows that that's used in like gunpowder and explosives, but I guess Taylor doesn't know that. Um... They're using the piss much, yeah. to make explosives. <laughs> Okay, well, I think at this point, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything worth me, like, going and looking at while, like, on this island while still in rat form, or if I should just go back to the squad now. Actually, I think I would like to look in one, to see if I can kind of look into one of these huts, probably this hut that's, like, closest to me, like, here, if there are any, like, cracks that I can see in to see what's inside. Absolutely. Give me just a, a stealth check. Sure. I lost my world. I did that with advantage because you said I could have advantage before. So. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, so as you appear inside, it's just a, a little, like, a uh, shortly done sleeping roll and not much else in there. It's kind of just where these goblins tend to sleep, it seems. Okay. Um, I feel like for... Completion's sake, I should do the same for this, at least one of these other huts. Give me another self-check. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Okay, yep, and same sort of thing, just like a little tiny, um, like, crappy fur sleeping area, and not much else. Okay, um, so from where I am, can I see over kind of like towards like the northwest of, of course, where yeah. I am? Yeah, I'll, what I'll do is, just because you're on the island, I'll just open it up, because, like I said, the mist isn't as bad on the island. So I'll say it's going to open up a bit more like that, followed by a bit of that action, too. There we are. Okay. You know, while I'm up here, um... I feel like it probably makes sense for me to kind of also scurry over here and just see if I can see what's on the rest of this island. Just stealth check. Uh, stealth, stealth, stealth. That's not bad. Okay. It's not bad at all. Where are these going? And so that's just like another like normal goblin, right? That's not like a yeah. this guy that I can see uh, now. That's yeah, just double check. I'm pretty sure he's normal. I don't see any eyebrows, so he'd be normal, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um Okay. Well, I think at this point I kind of I kind of know what's on the island now, so I think I'm gonna like go back and ah, sorry. Accidentally scrolled way out on the map. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I think I'll just kind of like scurry back towards the squad and report on what I have seen. Um, so I'll just describe 
I guess I get, actually I guess I'll kind of like come back into the water and then I should probably pop back into my gnome form um just to just um into my gnome like, form. transformation like in um the witches yes. <laughs> <laughs> um and just kind of just just like briefly summarize like well it smells like flowers and or rather so inside the head, there are a bunch of boxes and they all smell like the same flowers that are up by all the bees, but it also smells like saltpeter and I don't even know what's up with that. So that's a little weird. Um, and then there are just some huts that just have like bedrolls and, and clothes and stuff and then nothing particularly interesting and nothing indicating our assassination targets. So, um... I think this is a bit of a dead end here. Is uh, is is Peter well, the the leader? Is is Peter mm -hmm. one of one of the three? Who's who? Who is Peter, and why does he have why salt? Is he so uh, is he so that is an excellent question, Thargor. Um, saltpeter is, is, is a chemical. I, I don't know if it's named after someone named Peter, although I suppose that's entirely possible, but there's no person in there. There's no person named Peter, just a stinky chemical that smells like piss. So, yeah, that's what we got. We should, we uh, advantage every time take some, some piss. salt. Salt is good in, in cooking and not easy. To come by. Doesn't smell very good, though. I don't know why I would want to use something in cooking if it smells like piss. Although I suppose there are certain wines that people say have a have a sort of there piss. Are, there are many them. smelly cheeses that are excellent. This is true. This is true. Um, at the same time. I wish I had known that you wanted some salt heater before and I would have grabbed some for you while I was in there, but at this point Wait, Birdo. Birdo. Mm -hmm. At this point, I think it would be difficult to go back in. I can only change so many times per per day, really, and I, well, I don't think I should use I that. I have up. never used Peter's salt. I don't know if it's different from other salt. I mean, I think it is different. It smells like piss. My biggest question is mostly, well, what is it usually used for? That is an excellent question. I have no idea. Does anybody have um, alchemy training? Have what training? Alchemy. Um, uh, Bertha sure does not. Okay. How about hey, <laughs> Uh, I have a little bit of Arcana skill, but I don't have any, like, um, I don't believe I have any formal training in alchemy. Well, then, does nobody have any idea what it could possibly be used for? Hmm. Okay. So, weird soul aside, where are... The leaders. Well, we haven't we looked have west no yet, idea. and there's there's some more area to. So my thought was going to be to circle back around the north side and just keep following west. Um, Go all the way back good. around, or like around the south side of the island. Yeah, I'm still sketched about that that area. That just that is very sketchy. Is is let's, let's go down a little bit mm -hmm. and see that get that extra big black spot. Mm -hmm. Let's just make sure there's nothing there first. Okay. I have a so I have a question for the GM papers. before we go. Um, so on this little island, I'm gesturing on the map. There's this thing that to me looks kind of like a tent. Yep. Is did we? What did we? Is that a tent? Is that what that is? Consent, yes. Okay, so we didn't really investigate what was in there. 
Um, or because we saw those goblins and we just stayed away. Okay, but yeah, I think it would be helpful to Island, yeah. kind of try to get a better look at this area. So, uh, yeah, I'm following Mara down. Let's go. Just, Squad up. Just to see if we can get that big splotch out of the way before we head west. Stealthing our way. Stealthing our way. Stealthing our way down town. Sneaking fast. Okay. Hold my breath with my straw now. Oh, yes. Yeah, interception. Oh, that's, that's reasonable. The swamp gas is starting to get to us. <laughs> so, DM, is it possible to just speed run going west? Yeah, yeah, we can manage that. I can, I can figure something out. Yeah, just so that we can kind of get us. Oh, I think getting like an overall sense of um, what we've got in this area, and then I guess kind of like next time we can kind of come up with a plan of action for. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, Lynette, Ooh. makeup looking fancy. So, Ooh. I love that lipstick on you. It's real tight. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Okay. Onward and westward. Yeah. So, do we want to uh, backtrack around the whole thing, or? Yeah. Well, it's either that or go up and over. I don't think we want to backtrack. I think we should just kind of go directly kind of over. I mean, over where I am now, like over here. Yeah. I lost Mara. There she is. Well, that's all dark. That's all deep water over there. But if we go up this way, we can go under that bridge. Mm hmm. Yeah. Give me a perception check, Mara. Nice. That's pretty good. Dirty 20. So with that. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's the word. Hey, work, buddy. We're going back down. We're going back down. We're going back down. Right up. Right up. So either we go around or we go back. All right. Swim. Given what we know now, I am now in favor of swim. Okay. <laughs> um, I am curious as to what's in those tents. Um, Mr. DM, I am wondering if it is possible to see slash perceive what is in those tents without going into them. Well, in that case, give me a perception check. Yeah. Perception. That's a bad perception check. Okay. <laughs> Very that, yeah, you can't really see too much into the tents. Uh, they look like they have the same amount of capacity as those um, little uh, bungalows that you saw in the uh, on the other island. Uh, and you do also see like a couple of fishing rods there too with uh, some fish drying up on a little net next to them too. So Maybe yeah. that is. I think yeah. it's safe to assume that those are probably the tents for those two goblins and we should just keep moving. Uh. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we want to end up back over where we kind of hid the very beginning of the session, I think. Yeah, like maybe over and keep here. going. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, swim through this bit. I agree. I'll just while doing that, I will open that up a bit more too for you. Whoa, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, just keep water. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just all just swim through that. It takes you a minute, and yeah. You need a sorrel stealth. Um, yeah, I better. <laughs> Still advantaged? Yeah. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And you still have Pass Without a Trace. Yes. Okay. Well, like, I have... 
I was just going to ask if we can kind of see down kind of over here, like in this direction towards the west and the, the kind of the south. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Perception. That's pretty good. Watch. Actually, I might as well do some of that too. Yeah. Okay, so there's there is like another branching path over here, but the map ends pretty short. But that's kind of meta. Wait, did you say another path somewhere? What do you mean? To the left. Not not a physical path, but it it's kind of a natural. Yeah, I think a natural swamp. Yeah. Right. We kind of. I'd be kind of actually more curious to kind of get up up in here, up towards these mangroves, and kind of see if I can see in that direction. Well, give me a good old possession there, then. I'm doing so great on those perceptionals. Oh, ah, almost did. Oh, this can see more. <laughs> How this recovered his eyesight somehow. Yeah. Folks on a boat. Folks. On a boat. I can see. <laughs> I'm glad I looked this way. I'm on a boat. What is that? Boats. Boats and stuff. Oh, maybe. So maybe it would have been a good idea to steal a boat. <laughs> it's good. never too late to it's steal a boat, but though. there's lots of guys over by the boats. That would be very I don't think true. you would have been able to stealth in a boat. That's true. That's true. Swimming is much stealthier. Uh, okay, well, uh. Gosh. I feel like can we go down and up? Oh, uh, so like around go west, to the west and see if we can go north. Can we go up? Can we go up through the trees? Like maybe south through the trees? But I mean, you can absolutely land on that island if you want. That's fair. Yeah, like there. We're we're here. Yeah, there let's... or over here. Yeah, I think like over where Mara is makes sense. Okay. Can I before I get up on this area see what's up here before I get on to just Absolutely. a little bit of land? Yeah, give me a perception. There's T20. Nice. Okay, so a couple of things first. I will. Oh, I don't. And also. Very dense. Oops. Okay. And a nice. Okay. Good me with the light. Okay. Lights. Okay. Magic. Nice. All right. So I think we should head this way. Head which way? Can you show me again? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't see why not. Give me stealth as well too, um, and I will say with advantage because it's pretty brushy over here with all these mangroves, and you can sort of hide pretty easily. Nice. I think it's a good idea. Plus, like, there's much fewer people that are going to aggro us if we're kind of in a different, uh, in a slightly more covered area. You will also That's add to this. Yeah, that was the wrong. 
Man, Parker's really doing some close magic here. Mm. I'll also add to that, these mangrovey parts that you're sort of standing on now, they are difficult terrain. Okay. Mm, right. mm. So, I think just keep moving. Yeah, let's just uncover the rest of this. Because there's, mm -hmm. this is pretty much it, and then we're going to have to make a, a play. There's two people in three tents. There's two people in three tents before we go up. Can I do a perception, see if there's anyone in the tent? Uh, okay, so as you sort of see these tents appear in front of you, you kind of go, wait, okay, let's have a, have a think. And you get a feel of the area, and you don't think anybody's here right now. Cool. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mosey on around these tents. Okay. And let's get some perception checks, too. Oh, which Mr. You, you didn't have to do this. Right, but I'm so enthralled with this tent. Hey, I saw something for once. <laughs> nice. Also, uh, I would say. I'm going to say I'm you know, adjusting oh. back to my gnome senses after having been a rat for like 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. Ooh, to the east. What is that? Yeah. Who is that? Well, that, she? you sort of see through through the fog, there's a hobgoblin female. Oh, look at her! And she's sort of wearing, um, like, very sort of, across almost her entire body, this tight leather sort of outfit. And yeah. she sort of, like, sort of stretches up like that and does an incredibly graceful dive into the swamp in front of her. Ooh. We should clear out from the tents. We we should move forward north. Yeah. Where's she swimming towards? She definitely... She sort of swims... Um, she's swimming west. That's definitely... Like, well, she water. swims underwater for a bit. And she disappears. And yeah. as that happens... Um, these guys kind of... Move up a bit. Sort of there-ish. They're watching her. And a couple of, like, maybe, oh gosh, 30 seconds later, she appears again. And okay. she's got, like, a knife in her teeth. And she swims across to the, um, the goblins on the boat. Goblins on the boat, and she's got like handfuls of it looks like sticks or maybe even roots that she seems to have cut of cut from the bottom of the uh, swamp, and she's sort of handing them to these goblins who sort of like stack them into these baskets. Do they look differential to her? Is it like does she friendly? look like it's, does she look like super in charge of them? Um, give me an insight check. Or does she just check. happen to be the one doing it? Give me that insight, insight. check. Insight. That's pretty good. 17. Um, yeah, they seem to be, as far as goblins go, treating her pretty politely. Okay. So we must... That might be one of our guys. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I think that's... I think she's a strong contender. Okay. We could try and get closer and see... I guess no, we don't speak goblin. Or I speak Paladin. goblin. I speak yeah. goblin. <laughs> we could have you see if you can hear what they're saying. Yeah, can I like kind of creep over, kind of over to the edge of this? Where am I? There I am. Can I creep over to the edge of this island, still kind of hiding in the mangroves, see if I can hear anything they're saying? Absolutely. Give me um, a stealth check first. See how quietly you're going? I'm going to also move over that way. I'm not going to get as close as Tala, but... Okay. Pretty good. So, yeah, you sort of um, stick your ears out and, and listen to what they're saying to each other. And 
and yeah, you hear it say like, um, like, like I, I think this area is is cleared out. Uh, there should be some more fresh growth though. If you just head a little bit north, um, follow fresh me this growth. way, and they kind of go, yes, yes, muckraker, yes, of course, muckraker. 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 Okay. That doesn't sound like a fancy title. That sounds like a job description or a occupational name. Um, but they're not names. occupational names since I don't think goblins have surnames um, typically. But they're goblins, so who knows what? Yeah, goblins tend to gain their titles yeah. from deeds and and uh, like yeah, I don't know. That's using my own experience and kind of what Hellenus reads. Um, okay. Well, I mean, that's not super useful. That's, that kind of confirms that they're being kind, like, polite, I guess, and deferential to her, but not necessarily that, like, she's, like, a general that we're looking for. Um... I would also... I would like to kind of investigate these tents a little bit and see if I can kind of take a peek in there and see if they seem noteworthy in any way. Um, give me an investigation check. Ten. Okay. Yeah, you don't see anything too noteworthy, except for um, you do see some baskets of um, uh, sort of like the basket they have in, in their own little boat over there. And they're filled with this this uh, short brown root that, that sort of has been cut up. Okay, would I recognize what root it is? Would I be able to identify yeah. it? Absolutely. Give me an investigation check. Can I give like a uh, sorry investigation? Yeah, that is what I want. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Uh, you recognize this as um, damp claw. Damp claw root in particular. Okay. Um, what am I doing? There we are. Got a whole bunch of stuff about it. <laughs> So yeah, the um, what you know about the damp claw root is that it it's a little bit of a narcotic. This root, hmm. um, when when burned, it can sort of create. Um, what does it create? It gives um, a euphoric state when it's burned. It gives off this, yeah. this fume. So, hear me out, guys. Mm. <laughs> so, uh -huh. I think that we, I, I now think, given the amount of the map that we have explored and the people that we've encountered, I feel pretty confident that she's one of the kobold, or she's one of the, one of the goblin generals. I think that uh -huh. the, this guy who was overseeing the, the piss party um, is um, another one. And either this cobalt gentleman or the bugbear are our final mm -hmm. final general. She's in the mm -hmm. water right now, and she can't do anything. We have the element of surprise, and I have the ability to cast 
Frostbite, which is a numbing frost debuff. I don't want to try and freeze her while she's in the water and see if I can't get her to drown. Oh, that's cold. I literally. Our, I mean, our job I is to. How, how long does that last? How long does the freeze last? Uh, it's so the target must make a con saving throw. On a failed save, the target takes one d six cold damage, and it has disadvantage on the next weapon attack roll before the end of its next turn. So this is a this is a one turn advantage where, like, we could get. This plus somebody else could maybe pair that with a, with some form of like, quiet attack if if anybody else has the ability. I to. I am not very quiet when I attack. <laughs> Me neither. I don't really have well, any I have, range attacks. I have some throwing things I can throw. I also have silence. And I also can cast darkness, but we couldn't be able to see through the darkness, but she couldn't see, and if she couldn't see, she might just drown. What's the AoE on the silence cast? Uh, the area is... Range is 120, area is 20. Okay, so... But if she's swimming and I cast darkness on her and she's freezing. That's true. Yeah. We don't necessarily need to see it. We can just hang out here and wait and see if she manages to to overcome that. But it also I mean. darkness is going to kind of kill the element of surprise because those two goblins are gonna be caught in that and they're gonna know what something's going on. Um mm -hmm. I don't I don't take any losses from from that because it's a cantrip, so I almost want to just kind of chuck it out there and see if if we if it's successful. And if not, we can continue hiding and kind of make our make our next plan. But this is an assassination contract, so I think it's at least worth a shot. Okay. I think so. And too. I have I have some darts I can throw at her. Yeah, we have to be careful though, because if those goblins see see us throw anything, mm -hmm. the gig is up. And That's true. And and they're in a boat, so it's. Is she coming Whoops. towards us? Ignore that. Is she coming towards us or going away from us? She was, um, looked like they were about to start heading north. Is she going along with the boat or are they going in separate directions? Yeah, they're also going together. Okay. I mean, I don't know if we can get her without those two noticing. I think we've got to get the group together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think if, if we, if we, the play maybe is to cast Frostbite on her. See if she, and see if she starts drowning, and if she does, immediately drop some darkness or some silence on them, and just go straight for it. And everybody takes the takes the initiative to try and get some opportunity attacks on them. I think we should just do that straight off because even if she doesn't start drowning, she'll know something was up. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we're going to attack one, we have to attack all of them. Okay. I'm I'm just worried I won't be able to accurately cast Frostbite if we if we call it throw down darkness first. That's fine. We don't have to throw down darkness. That's just an He's option down. we have. Silence might be more helpful since it was yeah. four. Yeah. I say silence first and then Frostbite and then, you know, whatever else. Mm -hmm. not darkness i don't think okay yeah especially okay. since i think um because it makes how high up does the darkness go is it like a sphere oh. is it a column uh darkness is 15 foot radius sphere okay yeah 
Um, so I feel like a big ball of blackness. Like you can't see what's inside of it, but you can see that there's suddenly darkness there. If you were to glance over in the yeah, dark, no, I think that might be more obvious. Mm-hmm. That's fine. It's just something I have in case. Yeah. All mm-hmm. right. So we have a we have a plan. So we're gonna cast silence and then go for the go for the frost the chilling takedown. Yeah. All right. Let's all kind of. Um... Let's all kind of get in these mangroves and kind of it's like, yeah, kind of take up positions. Well, don't, what's it cost? Do you have to speak to cast the ray of frost? It does not say. It's an evoca- It's an ev- evocation. So I guess I do need to speak it. Verbal and yeah, gesture it doesn't say. So. It doesn't pass that first, and then right after, I'll do silence. Well, what? silence is only a radius of what twenty. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm well outside the. If you cast it on her, I'm well outside the radius of that, so I should be fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, frostbite has a verbal component. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think if you cast it on them, um, unless uh, unless I'm not a, unless the um, target has to also be able to hear the cast. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. So go ahead okay. and. All right. So wait, we're gonna let me just make sure I get this. I'm going to cast silence, you're going to cast the freeze, and then what? And then we go? Then yeah. we start attacking, or are we waiting? Yeah, and we go. Yeah. I don't think we should okay. wait. Yeah, we should, we yeah, should just we... go for it. Um, if somebody has anything that we can attack the boat with and, and fuck up the boat so that those guys fall out, that would be super helpful. I mean, mm-hmm. I have acid breath. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that works. Just eat that over there, and um. So in that case, I'm gonna get over here because it is a line and not a cone. Sweet, yeah. Because so we're gonna silence the group, freeze her. Hopefully she drowns, and then we're gonna dissolve their boat in acid. And these guys are just gonna be completely terrified. This this sounds like art of war shit. Hey, yeah, I this is a war crime. Question. Hypothetically, if I can summon a bestial spirit, could I summon it? And it, it has to be like in my sight line. Could I summon it like 30 feet in the air and have it like fall onto the <laughs> boat? <laughs> um, now, does a bestial spirit have any weight to it? Or is it a I'm not sure. Oh, oh, okay. So actually, now I'm seeing it's it's small. Uh, my second level spell lot. It's a small beast. So I guess I was picturing like a whale and just like a small whale and just like boom, um, falling onto the boat. But I don't think that counts as a small beast. Um, wow, a small whale falling from the sky. Just the most terrifying thing I've heard. <laughs> Very, uh, very, um, Hitchhiker's Guide uh, to the Galaxy is yeah. actually, I didn't intend that, yeah. that was not my intentional very reference, cool. but now that I'm thinking about that, just like, oh, well, um, do, 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 do. I mean, you could summon a mongoose, <clears throat> you could summon a mongoose, something that could swim would be helpful, actually. Um, a rabid Octopus. platypus. Okay. Um, <clears throat> a bestial spirit. Oh, bestial spirit. That block. Water. Things. I mean, that would... If you could startle somebody and they fell over, that minor illusion might be... Interesting. That's what I was thinking. 
Now, my acid no, breath I don't know. is an area of attack in a line. So I'm going to get here and hit the boat. Yeah. Hit the boat straight like this. So it's not just the boat. It's going to get those guys, too. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> All right, I, I think we've got a good strategy. Um, I think we should we should uh, we should just go for it. Yeah. All right. All right. So, Mara, you want to lead us off? Silence. Okay. And um, what's the radius on that again? Uh, it's a, just had it up. Silence is 120 foot range, 20 feet, 20 feet here. Twenty foot sphere. All right. I want to get everyone right in it. Yeah. I could go down a little bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to ask if I can get advantage on my frostbite attack since we're doing it from a concealed position with surprise so we're with an op with opportunity wouldn't be a, yeah it wouldn't be advantage um yeah just because uh it's, you still have to aim it which is the where it mainly comes from although um they do have a check I believe on they have a one. it's just a con saving throw yeah yeah okay yeah, no real advantage, but yeah, you do get you are getting a surprise round, so that's pretty handy. Yes. All right. <clears throat> <coughs> so plop that down, and that's going at her. So it's one creature, so I'm just directing it at the leader. Okay, so Machbecha. Uh, so you should do a Constitution saving throw. Um. Okay. And as soon as I hear him oh my send God, that off... She does not say she rolled a one on that. So yeah, she's taking the full uh, 1d6, I want to say? Yeah, so five damage. That was the... Okay. As soon as I hear him send that off, I'm going to wade out into the water a bit right here. So I'm in position yep. to uh, unleash my breath. All right. <laughs> See. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for your turn, is do your breath attack. Yes. Uh, you should probably do the actual attack roll first, too. Yeah. Well, I just clicked on the dice next to the, the oh, thing, and I guess that was just the damage. Yeah, and it's, and it's an area, though, so... Is it a save-based thing, or...? Yeah. Uh, let's see. The DC for this saving throw equals 8, plus your con modifier, which... Is hang on. Uh, yeah. is two plus my proficiency, which is also two, correct? Yes. So the DC is twelve, and it is a. Where did that go again? I'm not seeing where it says what what kind of saving throw it is. Um, let's see. I guess it, it depends. Hang on.
dex. There we go. And half damage on success. Okay, so... Okay, cool. So, goblins need to do dex saving throw. Okay. One failed. The other one succeeded. What's the that going to do? What's that boat going to have happen to it, though? And the boat takes a bit of damage, too. So, I'll roll you, and your damage was mm. nine, which is great. Yeah. So, and the one the, that succeeded oh takes half. Yeah. So that's. We. Oh, so do we round up or down with. with we round it up, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> this. Guy is very dead. Oh, that's not the dead one. That's the dead one. So your breath attack hits him and he just. He sizzles right down, just collapses into the boat. Like he's straight up dead. And nice. this other guy oh, man. is not looking great. And the boat takes a bit of damage too, but the boat still looks pretty sturdy, actually. So yeah, this torrent of acidic breath weapon just in a straight line. And yes. Yeah, looks like a good it job. totally just yeah, projectiles yeah. vomited on them. <laughs> exactly that, yeah. There, there's that. Gross. Okay, so if Thargor's done his thing, I think Taylor is going to cast, um, sorry, I have to go back to the right tab. I'm going to cast Summon Beast. And so I am going to cast. So that is, I call forth a bestial, spe bestial spirit manifested in an unoccupied space that you can see within range, corporeal form using the bestial spirit stat block, da 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 da. So I'm going to choose uh the water environment for my bestial spirit um resembling an animal of your choice that is native to the chosen environment which determines certain traits in its stat block um i want this to be like an eel i don't know like <laughs> i haven't like found a stat block for an eel but i feel like that is like a suitable like <laughs> um a suitable animal for this environment um yeah absolutely that's if that's all right. So I want that to appear like right next to Muckraker. Um to the, the to the woman. And um then so since the beast takes direction from it takes a verbal direction from the person who summons it and in initiative order it immediately follows. It takes its turn immediately after yours. So I would like to command it to um, attack Muckraker. Um, and that is a melee weapon attack. My spell attack modifier to hit. Five foot reach. One target. Hit 1d8 plus four plus this spell's level in piercing damage. Which is pretty substantial. Assuming that I can hit because my no my spell attack modifier okay so then i roll spell attack is that right does that make sense yes okay yeah. just making sure my logic is like let's see does that go let's see. well that's the point <laughs> five <laughs> so i summoned a cool okay. yeah, it doesn't do anything yeah so this eel um like there's a flash of a spiritual light, and this eel kind of swims up and goes to lunge at uh, this this hobgoblin, and she kind of dodges out of the way and kind of just passes in front of her face, almost in slow motion, and then lands back in the water. Now, is that thing still hanging around for a bit? Uh, or is yeah. A one -off thing? I think it hangs around until either I dismiss it. One hour. I should double check that, but I'm pretty sure it hits around until I dismiss it or until it hits zero hit points. Yeah, it says concentration okay, up to one hour. One hour. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay, so that's hanging around to all the aids. It's over here somewhere. Okay, mm. excellent. Anybody else want to do anything during this surprise round? That hasn't already? Chuck your javelin. <laughs> I've already done something. I mean, I've mm. moved closer to the action. Ah. 
I mean, okay, I can check so, my javelin, but I think we have a different initiative. Um, yeah, well, you did your uh, spell as your action for the surprise yeah. round. In that case, then, let's roll initiative. Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess we didn't start the turn tracker. Yeah, are you yeah, starting the? Yeah, yeah. I Just rolled a sure twenty-one. Your... I don't know if it got sent in, but it didn't. No, but we can. Do, I can add that manually. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, and we'll add Alanis. I'm gonna put a quick. Absolutely a good use of a natural 20 there. Nice. <laughs> I made a little oh, acid for where my eel is. So, my oh, nice. beast. No. I don't know if there's a better way to draw that, but... So, I could draw I'm assuming that Thargor gets precedence on initiative since, um, since, since Thargor rolled nat 20, and I'm a dirty 21. Actually, yes. it would be the other Absolutely. way around. Really? Isn't it Probably. like the, because the it, dex, the tiebreaker? Yeah, the the person with the bigger uh, add to the roll usually goes first. Oh, okay. Huh. All right. Yeah, it, do it doesn't really make sense, but um, I guess it's more to do with like your innate abilities rather than the random chance. Did you roll initiative, uh, Mara? Yeah, I got an eight. An eight, because you yeah, didn't get added to the thing. I will do that. Next I think me and Mara did it before the turn tracker was started. Yeah. We were fucking ready. We were like, let's go. Because I already know what I want to do. I think it'll I'm... add even if the turn tracker is not up, but you have to make sure that you have your token selected when you roll. Oh, that, uh, would, that would totally That's explain. a big one, yeah. All right, well... Oh, you're rolling that now, which is great. All right, well, I'm going to kick this off so we can kind of keep this moving along, and I'm still going to aim at Muckraker, and I am going to cast Chill Touch, which is... Ow. Can I, like... That's not a range, is it? It's... Yeah, range 120 feet. Right. Uh, touch is probably a bad term, but yeah, continue. Um... Give this bitch. Yeah, you create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of a creature within range. On a hit, the target takes one d eight necrotic, um, and the hand clings to the target till the end of the next turn. So I'm gonna try and like basically bind her with this damaging hand. So let's go for it. Ew. Ah. It's so crazy. That's not bad. Hey, what was her armor class again? That does not hit. Womp womp. Ew. Womp womp. So yeah, this special hand appears, and after that, Eel jumped in front of her, she's kind of all wary now. And yeah, so she, again, dodges out of the way, and his hand just swipes in front of her face. Okay. What all did that frost do to her? Yeah, we... Um, she gets disadvantage on her first attack in, the, in this okay. round. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, next up to play, we have Fargo. How deep is this water? Uh, it's sort of like knee to waist. You can walk through it, it's just, uh, oh, this water, actually, sorry, um, that's completely incorrect. This is deep water, you don't know how deep it is, but uh, you certainly can't stand in it. Okay. So I get disadvantaged to swimming. How far away am I? Fifteen. Okay, I can get there. Provided I don't mess up the swim check. All right, um, I'm going to try to get over here to her swim check, I'm assuming, then. Yep. Uh, what do you use for a swim check normally? Strength? Athletics. I reckon. Athletics. Okay, cool. That's swim what I've test. always used. Mm. Um. Oh, I thought I get a 
guess maybe I don't. I thought I had disadvantage on it because of armor. Okay, that's not great. <laughs> no, no, it's not great. Um, yeah, you, you kind of start sinking because of all that armor. Mm. Uh -oh. You get to maybe about there-ish, and then, yeah, you kind of just zoop, go into water. Um, can, can I, uh, like, use a reaction to pull out my swamp straw? Um, yeah, go for it. <laughs> for what it's worth. You're not hitting the ground, though. That still isn't happening yet. Oh, no. Like I, I, I swim up and I start start going on under, and you see my my snout poking up out of the water. As I grab the the straw up and like I slowly slink down under it, and the the straw is just sticking up above the water. Just like watching the yeah. drowning. Oops. <laughs> All right, Berta, what are we doing? All right. Um. Well. Hmm. So. I want to move, like, to the edge of, uh, sorry, I'm trying to, yep, I want to basically just move to the edge there, um, but I don't know, um, yeah, I can't really do much after that, right? Um, yeah, actually, yeah, not really, because you're pretty far away, and you have to go into the water, which will give you, um, yeah, half movement speed. Uh, no, 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 I'm not trying to go into the water. Sorry, I'm trying to go like to the edge of the the shore. Oh. Yeah, that'd be way and worth then... before, yeah, that'd be the edge. Mm hmm? Uh, way worth before would be the edge. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Um, but yeah, no, my point was more that that's, I have 30 feet of movement, that's 20 feet, so... I can't really attack, right? Not unless you have a ranged weapon now. Well, I I have a javelin. Oh, you can totally yuck it. I'm um, chuck that then. Oh right, sorry. I thought. Yeah, right. You can do movement and attack. Ooh, yeah. I forgot that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, it's been a while. That's All fine. right. Well then, yes, I will definitely try to hit that lady with a javelin. So, um. Mm -hmm. So that's a 15 to hit. Gonna hit. It, it does? Hits. Yep, that hits. Yay! Awesome. And that's 8 damage. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's Bertha actually... just kind of jogs to the shore, takes out a javelin from her backpack, and just throws it. Like some kind of mighty Amazon warrior ducking through the, the trees and just, yeah! Okay, yeah, and that like, brings no, us down to... No, you're not getting away. <laughs> That'll bring us down to Taylor. Okie doke. So I am concerned about Thargor. Um, and since I don't really have <laughs> ranged attack, it's not like I can really do a whole lot without getting out there. So I'm going to try to help Thargor. Um, I'm not sure um, the best way to do that. I've been thinking... And like, I am very, Taylor is very weak, physically very weak. <laughs> so I feel like trying to swim down and like yank up there is not likely to be successful. Um, turn it so into a I whale. Can, <laughs> I can't, I can't turn it into anything that can swim. I, I, I'm not oh. cool enough yet, unfortunately, as much as I would like to turn into a whale. Um, One day. Do 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 do. Um, can I like? Are there like vines around here? Can I like grab a vine? Or maybe I, do I have rope? I think I have an adventuring kit, so I probably have like rope. Can I like throw that out to Thargor to like Absolutely. give him something to grab onto? Yeah, go for it. Cool. Um, so I guess I'll do that. I'll kind of like tie a quick knot around a tree, throw the rope down to Thargor, call out to Thargor to, like, grab onto it, and then I guess it'll just be kind of like Thargor's next turn that that would be useful to him. 
Sorry. Zagor can't hear you. Yeah, Sorry? Zagor is in the silent zone. Right. Well, does oh, too, he can't yeah. hear me. Shoot. Um, would he be able to see the rope? Can I like throw the if I like throw the rope at him? Like, I guess I I'm just mean, trying to. Like, it's it's only been a, a couple seconds. A couple seconds. So, okay. like, I would probably if you throw it on me, like, I probably feel it hit the water. Okay. Okay. So I will. Stay. Sorry. I said who can who say. Can say. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, uh, and then, whoops. Somehow I have extra tabs open. Um, and then I guess that would probably be like my action, right? That would be like a help action. Um, yes. So then, so then I guess, so after me comes my eel, um, my bestial spirit. Um, so I think my eel boy is going to attack, um, Muckraker, because he's just right there. So I guess we'll just kind of, like, wiggle around and just try to, like, bite her. So that would be my spell casting, my spell attack, which is 15. That hits. Cool. Yep. So the damage on that is, I keep clicking the wrong tab. Um, do, 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 sorry. Um, so that is 1d8 plus 4 plus the spell's level. Did that roll? So that's 1d8 plus 4, so 10 plus 2, so 12 damage, 12 pierce oh, damage. Holy crap, that's, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Jeez, yeah. I feel this that's, what that, that's what that means, like, when it says... I, I, I think I'm interpreting that right. 1d8 plus 4 plus the spell's level, which is a second level spell slot. Right? Yeah. But he can't see it at wow. first or second level. What? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, cast, uh, never mind, that makes perfect sense then, yeah. Yep, second okay, level. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, 12 yeah. piercing damage. Right. Great. No. So yeah, this um eel again swims up and leaps out of the water, and just after she's been hit with his javelin in, in the shoulder, uh, it just latches onto her throat, and it's shaken away, and, uh, and then it falls off. And she took a good chunk of damage there, as we all know. And she is not looking particularly healthy. She's kind of treading water, but like now having some difficulty. You don't mind her like arm is frozen, to, or is like numb. Or, like, she has numb, but she can still move it around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, we have uh, the goblin. And he's going to pull out his... What does he have? Goblins have a short bow. And he's going to ping and shoot one right at Bertha, because Bertha just yucked that spear real hard. And Bertha's... Your armor class is 15, Bertha? Um, yes. Yes, okay. I think so. Uh, he, he hits. Yep. And he hits for... Uh, it. Four damage. Okay, sure. That's fine. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> this is fine. All right. Um, is this updating? I, I can't tell. I don't think so. But I can update that. I can update that. That's all good. Okay, so you're on 19 okay. hit points? Uh, okay. okay. Okay, next it is the Hobgoblin's turn. Now, what is she going to do? Okay, so the goblin 
she kind of like d docks underwater and then out of nowhere just appears right down there. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's what she's going to do. That's her turn. She just stays underwater. Um, no, she reappeared. She reappeared, oh, but then sorry, she's... My... Yeah. Sorry, my roll 20 is really slow. Okay. Mm. Yep, and she yeah pops up there, and that, that's where she's sort of treading water at the moment. Okay. Her... Seriously, she popped up right where I was? <laughs> I'm drowning for nothing. <laughs> now we have Marimor's turn. Okay. I'm gonna... Uh, scooch a little bit closer, probably right about here, and I'm going to check my javelin at her. Uh, 22 to hit. Oh, yep. shit. And three piercing. Not great. Cool. Okay, yeah, again, you hit her in the other shoulder, and yeah, she's not looking good. She's having a rough time over there. And if I wouldn't be able to physically hit her because she's in the water. Um, that's my turn. Okay. Talonis, back to you. All right. One, just a very brief second. I'm trying to decide between two attacks, but I think... Uh... And she's out of silence, so you want to shut her up. <laughs> yeah, that's what, it, that's, that's what makes me think is like, my problem is if she is, if, if I throw, if I throw my more damaging spell at her, then she's going to have to take a, Take her reaction and move as far away as she can mm -hmm. using standard speed. And she got pretty darn far on her turn. She did. So she could very quickly, if I didn't immediately kill her, she could very quickly move out of range. But if I use my, I'm just going to use chill touch what? and I'm just going to be, what if... sorry. Uh, I was just wondering if I could have run up to her and grappled her and held her down in the water. Who can say? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to do chill touch because that's... Um, I can hopefully... Freezer. Yeah. Okay, that's 20 to hit. It's going to hit. And Thanks. that's 8 damage. Okay. And yeah, with that, she is dropped. She's dead. Woo! Like, oh, Woo! That hand comes out and goes... And just... One down. Absolutely just sinks, just like pulls her beneath. Nice. And yeah, after that hand disappears, she rises like dead back to the surface. Ugh. All right. Um... All right, so we're out of combat. Could we? Yeah. No, we have one guy left. Oh, that's right. We still have the, the goblin oh. dude. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> Can we take him as prisoner? Can we take him as prisoner? That's a good idea, actually. If, uh, yeah, if someone want to take him as prisoner, we can interrogate him about the other two generals. Or, well, if we even kill the general and where the other two are. I mean, yeah. Would be a very good idea to have some more intel. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we have to get Thargor. We have to save Thargor, though. Fine. <laughs> are, are we still in initiative then? Yeah. You are, yes. And so with that, um, Thargor's turn. Uh, at the start of Thargor's turn, um, just above his head, he does feel something kind of plop. And 
yeah, that rope kind of just dangles in front of his face. All right, so I'm going to grab the rope, and because I am being helped, I get advantage on my swim check, right? Although, yeah, you'd be mainly, like, swimming towards the shore again. Yeah. All right. That's more. And that's like pretty it. good. <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, you can pull yourself to the shore if you like. That lady is very dead. All right, I'm going to do that. Pull myself up to the shore. Well, with that twenty, you could go get the guy. Could I? I was. Where was I? Right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. You know what? So I I grab onto the rope and uh haul myself to the surface with it, and so now I've got my bearings. Now I'm feeling like, yeah. I I remember how to swim. <laughs> you just forgot for a second. Just just forgot for just a second. Um, and come over here. How's the boat looking? Well, it's, it's actually looking pretty sturdy considering the amount of acid damage it's received. It's actually looking pretty good. Would it be my action to haul myself into the boat? Um, it would be, yes. Okay, then I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to grab onto the side and, uh, I'm going to poke with my sword at this guy. Yeah, okay, you want to kill that goblin? Yeah. Or no, we wanna we wanted to take him prisoner, right? <laughs> Did anybody say mm -hmm. that out loud? Uh you're in the cone of silence. You're anyway, so you're... Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm poking with my sword. I'm afraid that I roll poorly. <laughs> Damn it. Uh where did that go? We all uh, I will say harder. that because it's concentration. Uh, Merrimor can cancel that um, sphere of silence anytime she wants. Cancel the sphere. <laughs> Don't yell, though. <laughs> uh, you're breaking up, so I can't hear what you're saying, but I'm going to assume you're telling me don't kill him. We're breaking up! What? We're breaking up? I didn't even know we were dating. Oh my god, it's happening. <laughs> no, you mean so much to me. Um. Alright, so I'm gonna just, like, hesitating. Um. And then... I guess I'm. I guess I'm gonna grapple him. Okay. So let's do the strength just contest. Like, just like reach up and try to like get my arm around his neck, like like I'm about to give him a niggy. Okay, so he's gonna do try and yeah, he's got high dex. He's kind of dexterity his way out of that one. All right. So just just strength. Um. Yeah, that's all I want. Actually, yeah, with grappling, it's always strength. Yeah. Okay, you outstrong him. And yeah, so you easily just grab around the neck and he's like, ah! And yeah, you, you got him in a, in a good old fashioned headlock. All right. Excellent. Um, now, hmm, let's see. So you're going to have to see if you can get him back to the shore, I guess. So yeah, we'll continue that. We'll do one more strength check from you and see if he can weasel his way out before we get, uh, cancel initiative. He rolled a one. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Big boy. Woo. Yeah, you managed to drag him back to the shore. Yeah. Uh, can someone grab the boat? Um, 
my eel just kind of like bonk, bonk the boat towards the shore. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll reach out and grab it. I mean, if we're out of initiative, I can go over and grab the boat. Um, actually, Mara, can you grab Muckraker's body? We need to do some uh, mm-hmm. some uh, tidying up. Sure thing. That sounds ominous. Hello, ma'am. You're coming. I'll I'll bring her over to the little bit here. Hey. Now, what are you doing with her body, director? I figured we uh, would... probably checking it. I want to ch- I want to check it first. See what's in it. What's on it? Absolutely. Give me that uh, investigation check. And then we'll probably put it in a tent or something. Uh, you said investigation. Eleven. Okay. Um, yeah, so you sort of look around this really tight-fitting uh, armor that she has, and um, yeah, you don't find much, but you do find around her neck there is a, a really big, hefty-looking key. Ooh. Mm. That might get us into, well, the, high- the <laughs> head full of uh, piss and flowers and boxes and saltpeter. <laughs> Nice. Pocket that key. Thank you very much. Uh, and then I'll probably just put it in one of the tents. I'll put her body in one of the tents. Good idea. Cool. Um, I and join the. Crew. I don't know if we want to hide them in the tents. If we do that, they might be more likely to be discovered if some... Although I guess there's only three tents, so presumably they're the only ones around. Who are yeah, I feel like it would be a while before... Just dump them in the water. Yeah. It'll be a while before they float. Uh, I was thinking dump them on the west side of the of the mangroves, like here. You just, like, tuck them in the mangrove roots. Yeah. Okay. And portage the boat okay. over that side, too, so that the there's just no I'll evidence. Kinda, like, I'll kind of, like move some stuff around so she's like yeah. her and the other goblin I'll take them and kind of just like bow bury them All right. yeah well that's going is there anything on the goblin Mr. Reese on the goblin uh, give me an investigation yeah. check while we're here a little weird to me that there's a specific word for carrying a boat over land What is that? Portage. Portage. Uh, 17. Okay, that's not, that's not bad. Um, da, 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 da. Where are my utilities? I don't expect there to be anything there, but just in case. Can I roll intimidation on our goblin buddy, our captured goblin buddy, and again and interrogate him as to the whereabouts of the and interrogate him? Yeah, uh, easy done. Let me just uh, so you find on that dead goblin 13 uh, gold pieces, yeah, it's not bad at all. Wait. And uh, we're intimidating the other goblin. Or 13. Okay. And what do you ask him? I'm going to give that goal. Where are the other leaders? I'm just um, still holding he kind of headlock this whole time. Yeah, of course. That's great. So he's always like, ah, ah, um, ah, the generals, yes, ah, this is south. Because south from the mangroves, small island, the other two there. Make sure that she was a general. Was she a general? Yes. Um, I'm learning about what her name is. So. And I have one final question for him. How many others are with... It says Ozareg the Muckraker. Sorry? It says Ozareg the Muckraker. Yes. Ozareg. 
Who's a rig? How many Who's others are with the generals? Generals? He's, he sort of thinks, ah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. No idea. Ask maybe. him again. How uh, many uh, others? May, maybe a couple of goblins. Okay. All right, and I'm just gonna walk away. I'm just not gonna not gonna respond to him after that. I'm not gonna let him know whether or not he's free. Yes. Should Congress we, like, is gonna look say... really confused then, and just like keep holding him under his arm and be like, "Uh." So, uh, okay. what now? Are you gonna slit his throat? Do we tie him up and gag him? Do we, uh, just otherwise dispose of him? We can't just let him... Wait, what? I mean, personally, I think we should just knock him out and, like, stow him somewhere. Uh, in case we need him later. Before, Before we do yes, that... Yes, that one. Well, we yes, but then we run the risk of seeing him again. And I think dealing with him once is better He's than not dealing with him twice. That ugly. <laughs> 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 well, okay, so my thought is if we. Hold on. If, Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Can we ask him first? We're here because apparently they treat their goblins like shit. Can we confirm that with him? Like, excuse me, we're part of the Liberation Party. Is Are the rumors true about how you're treated? I love how him? we're checking if the rumors are true after we've already killed one of the generals. Excuse me, excuse me. Listen, listen, 75%. <laughs> Sir, do you have Better time than- to leave a glass like door review? I, this would be really helpful for our data <laughs> gathering. <laughs> I'm from Indeed. On a scale of one to ten, how much work life one to five. do you have? One to five. Who represented by union? How many stars would you give your employer? <laughs> it's kind of like <laughs> it's a it's a goblin life. You get your mandated three. lunch and smoke breaks. <laughs> What's the piss thing? What's the piss thing? Who is Peter? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, yes, the salt Peter. Yes. <laughs> What's that for? No, you know, like, we, we need it. The... For what? He's like, oh, for, for the seether. Yes, the seether. <laughs> the seether. What's a seether? He's like, seether, you know. I don't. No. What is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the seether. What does the seether do? He, he doesn't seem to know. He's kind of just hoping you know, because he has no idea. <laughs> so you don't know what you're doing here. No, not really. Okay. I do what I'm told. So, but you don't have like any like insane loyalty to this group, right? You're not like live or die for these guys, right? If we let you live, when will you just like chill? Can you just like chill here for a bit? Are you to a tree? Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> okay. What's what's your name? What's your name? He needs to be Where's persuaded to again? not die. <laughs> He yeah. needs to be persuaded to not this guy. like go rat us out immediately. And personally, I we gotta kill this guy. I so my thought behind leaving him alive and not just like offing him because one that's kind of brutal, uh, even for us hobo hobo murders. We're not murder hobos yet. We're not murder hobos. I don't know. We're getting pretty close. Uh, Argor is. <laughs> hey, we're my thought is hobo. There's a difference. We are. My my Made thought is assassins. My thought is knock him out, stow him, and then if we need to like kind of scenario our way out way out of this, like three stooges, stooges style, we can like hold him at knife point and have him escort us as captured prisoners out of the camp. 
We'd have to take him with us. I mean, yeah, but once we're out and gone, we can just let him go, and then he is free to be on his merry way. Or take him to we the can't next. Take him with I could see. What if I just what see if, if I can choke him out? What if we just we knock him out? Then I bow bury him with the other bodies. That's what I'm saying. Is we knock him out and we stow him, uh, yeah. much the, much like the dead bodies mm-hmm. and the canoe. We're gonna like or the boat. We're gonna just kind of hide him somewhere. Oh, do you want me to move the boat too? I can move the boat. Uh, I'll I'm gonna I'll give you advantage. Back. Can I give you advantage on that? Help you move the boat. Sure. I was thinking Burton, I could just move the boat, no problem. I want to help. I want to, like, actually help with some stuff, so I'm not just, like, kind of that jerk who's, like, yelling at everybody to do stuff. It's fine. And Thargor can knock our yeah, body out. Yeah, see if I can just choke him to unconsciousness. Give us a strength check. <laughs> Oops. So you're like you're trying to choke him. Awesome. Jesus Christ. You're trying to choke him and like you you're not cutting off anything, like you're not cutting off any of the, the blood flow or the oxygen flow. He's kinda of just like there's just pressure and he's just like ah he's like slapping around like ah. Can I use pain. my medical knowledge to be like, no, 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 <laughs> see his jugular is right there. That's where you have to apply pressure. See, I think Bertha's just gonna like Take Grab over the handle. Just press the button. Like <laughs> tap tap on on Thargar's shoulder. Go like let let me try. No. So, uh, strength. Sorry. Just a pure strength. <laughs> and would would Taylor be helping because of the medical knowledge? <laughs> Pointing where you have to apply pressure. Taylor isn't a breath play. I'm hoping you take um advantage. Okay, advantage, and it's just a, a strength, uh, oh, because those are saving throws. Uh, how do you do a non-modified check? Uh, you just... Uh, it should be on strength. the front page. Yeah, yeah just the... the yeah. Your mo- click your modifier. Okay. All right. Okay. And yeah, with that, yeah, you, um, <laughs> know sort of where to apply pressure, and he, in a couple of seconds, just passes out. He's in not a good way anyways. Okay. So See, that is how you do it. <laughs> All right. So do we right, both here. roll strength uh for moving the canoe? Mm-hmm. Do it do Mera with advantage, I'd say. Actually no, do we both do strength because it's a pretty big canoe. Okay. With advantage or just strength? Uh strength there's just strength, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it kind of gets it gets snagged in all these mangroves, and you can't really get it going anywhere. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's just leave it. I feel like a twinge in my arm. It's fine. I moved all those other bodies. All right. Okay, I made a little foe for the other guy over there. Put an orange so we'd remember he's alive. Excellent. Uh, Thank you. Wonderful. And then... Is he just living there or is he tied up? Uh, we'll tie him to like the tree, but like all we'll, we'll tie him like together, but he's also like kind of buried. Bye, Morgan. Love you. Bye, Morgan. Probably wrapping up anyway, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting pretty Yeah, late, it's, a, it's 11, so yeah. that seems yeah. like it's still, probably a good place to leave it. I'm just moving up to here, up by where we stowed everybody, because this seems like a quiet spot where we could sit amongst the mangroves out of sight and take a short rest. Cool. Does that sound sick to everybody? Yes, because I... That that silence thing takes a lot of key. <laughs> I do not have. That takes two key, and I only have three. I mean, I've rested more than three short rest. on a short rest. 
I managed to use mm-hmm. no spell slots and no key, and no key that entire fight. Should have made that fight oh, a lot harder than I did. Huh? I should have made that fight a lot harder than I did. <laughs> no, it was perfect. It was um, no, it, it was exactly what we <laughs> did. Anybody take that? Did really well. Uh, Morgan no. did. She got hit yeah. With I think the, yeah, did. Like four damage. Yeah. Okay, I'll try harder next time. No, I felt like that so was appropriate. We, we, yeah, we caught them off guard and they were stuck in the water, so they like and we killed the the two goblins who could uh killed an incapacity of the two goblins who could attack without disadvantage very well and we like basically negated the the muckrakers ability to mm-hmm. return fire. Oh, that was a great strategy. Oh, like you uh... really nailed it down. So wait before we before we head out, where are the other? Where are the uh, other the generals? Uh, they are south. Yeah. So yeah. presumably there is another campment in here somewhere. Yeah, in this black area here. I'm thinking okay. it's down in the bottom left here, uh, southwest of the uh, fortress with the four guys that we ignored earlier. Okay. I guess we didn't Maybe investigate whether he was lying. Or... That guy we kept alive was lying to us or not, but I think it's safe. Yeah, I, think I mean, why would he? It could also be useful yeah, to kind of check out the the deep area that's kind of due south of us and see yeah. if there's another anger of island down there that would be worth checking out. I mean, we could just take the boat. We could take the boat. Just Again, it's not easy to around. stealth. Yeah, I, yeah, I think we've been, we've been very successful at our <laughs> stealthness, and I, yeah. Um, I have a quick question. Actually, I have one more quick question. Who has the flare? Do I have the flare? Um, I think I think, I think right, yeah. I might have it. I might have written it down. I wrote Mara. Um, I have in my notes from make... last time. Mara has the firework and the five cherry bombs. Okay, so can I double check to make sure that it's like dry? And if it's not dry, lay it out to dry while we're hanging out. I like uh, it's got its own little like container, which is pretty watertight. Okay, okay yeah. cool. Yeah, they knew you're going to a swampy area, so they made sure it was safe. Good. I was like, while we were swimming, I'm like, fuck, fuck. Okay. I gotta go to work. Too easy. Okay. Um, thank you, Reese. That was a lot of fun. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Have a great time with you guys. I'm so glad we got one of them. <laughs> <laughs>